get into the lesson here, here's my A string. Okay, I'm going to show you how I play the ascending uh, arpeggio uh, section in this piece. I'm going to go ahead and play it and then uh, uh, we'll walk you through it. Okay, basically I'm playing an A minor, C major, D minor, and an E minor chord. So they're all what we call triads. And um, let's go ahead and start this. I begin on the high E, and I'm just going to talk you through each string, and then I'll go ahead and play it, and we'll move up. So on the uh, high E, it's 12 down to 8. Then on the uh, B string, we have 10. We have... 9, we have 14. On the A string then we have 12 down to 7. So we have... Now, when I get up to the top of this, the lick that I'm playing in between uh, each one of these chords, to kind of connect them, uh, off the A minor it's 12, pull off 8, 10, 12. Now that's the same. the same pattern for each one of the changes that I'm making. Uh, just a note, this is in the key of A natural minor, uh, which is relative to C major for those of you that understand theory. So I'm using all natural notes. I'm not using like a G sharp or anything like that. They're all A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So anyway, there's our A minor. Then we slide up to the C major and that's 15, 12, 13, 12, 14, 15, and then down on the A string to 10, and so we have, and here's our uh, lick to connect the next key with the chord, to kind of bring it into that D minor. So now we have our A minor, we have our C major, now D minor is 17, 13, 15, 14, then we go 15, 17, 12, and then back up. So we have. Okay, now the E minor. That's 19, 15, 17, 16, 17, 19, down to 14. So that's the lay of the land here for these chords and what I'm doing at the very end. I'm just simply what we would say or call outlining the chords uh, with uh, playing the arpeggios. And so I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Have fun and we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.